Hi guys, today I've got a really exciting video for you and today I'm going to be showing you what's in my baby's hospital bags. This is what I've packed for baby for when he decides to come into this world, which is so, so exciting and could be any day now. If you are new to my channel and you like beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos, then please do hit that subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen. You just get updated every time I upload a video and I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I'd just love to have your help in reaching my goal. So I'm going to get straight on into this video. So the actual bag that I've purchased, this is our nappy bag, diaper bag, whichever you want to call them. So the one that I chose was this, the Skip Hop Greenwich bag. I've heard really, really good things about this bag, that it had lots and lots of space and the compartments were really, really good. And then it has a separate compartment for like diapers and your diaper mat and sort of nappy mat and that sort of thing. So that's why I purchased this one. I also purchased it in black so that my husband can take it out and there's like, you know, so we can just both use it basically and try and be a little bit more unisex. The one thing that I didn't know was that it has quite a lot of rose gold detailing on it, which I personally don't mind, but my husband was a bit like, a little bit feminine. Um, so I probably would have preferred that to have been maybe gold or silver, just so that it could be a little bit more versatile between, you know, being unisex sort of thing. Um, but overall, first impressions is that it's a nice quality bag. Um, it's sort of a vegan leather. Uh, which and it just feels really really nice and it is got a lot and it has got a lot of space in it um, which you'll see in a minute when I unpack it so I'm going to start with the front pocket here so in the front pocket I have just popped in here a couple of uh, muslin cloths um, just because I think that I will probably need them for when I'm breastfeeding or trying to breastfeed and if baby like spits up or anything like that I'm not sure um, how many I needed so I'm just going to take two of those with me. These are the ones from um, Aiden and I, which are super super soft and I just really like the, the colours of it with the, the gold and the gold spots. Um, so I thought I'd take those two with me. Also in this pocket I have got myself some nappy cream. This is uh, the Welder uh, Calendula Nappy Change Cream which protects the delicate skin of the nappy area so i got that um, and so that's in the front pocket as well nice and easy to reach also what i like about in this pocket is that it has a little pocket here as well so if you pop out and you just want to take some money with you you can just put it in there and it won't go anywhere um, also in this pocket i have just packed some hands sort of sanitizer this is just one that i had in the cupboard it's a sensitive one there's no alcohol no fragrance and it kills 99 percent of bacteria which i thought would be good babies you don't want to be like stinking of alcohol or have that on your your hands so I got some of that just so that we can keep our hands nice and clean so that is the front pocket complete moving on to this middle pocket here now this is the biggest section of the bag um, the only thing that I'd say about it is the zip is kind of stiff on this bit but it does go all the way down which is nice and it's sort of got these two little what would you call it holders so that it doesn't fly open but it does open really well it also has this big pocket and then it has two other pockets on this bit here as well and yeah i'm going to show you what i packed inside here so the first item is a swaddle blanket this is another agent and nice swaddle blanket i really like this one with the hot air balloons i just thought it was really really cute and really nice for a little baby boy if you haven't seen all my haul videos um, i'll link them below and above if you wanted to go check them out because I've done two haul videos of what we've purchased for baby for when he arrives. The next thing that I packed is this blanket. I just thought it'd be really nice to take it with me. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it uh, but it's just a nice really snuggly blanket, uh, really soft. It's quite a thick big one but it fitted really well in the bag. So I've got that as well. And then going on to some clothing for baby, I haven't brought too much for him. Uh, I don't really know how much I'm supposed to take. So I just took a few items. So I've got a couple of pairs of little socks, uh, little cute socks that I picked up from H&M uh, with little bears on them. So I picked those up, got some hand mittens, which uh, stopped the baby scratching his little face. And then I also packed a couple of newborn baby hats. These are really soft, again from H&M, really, really lovely. And then going on to outfits, I packed three outfits for him. Um, I packed this one just here, 
which is the one with the sort of princes on, which I really, really like. And I think this is probably the one that he'll wear home because um, I just think it's really, really cute. I am only taking newborn sizes with me. We don't live that far away from the hospital, so if he comes out as a really big baby, um, my husband can always come back and get some other clothes if they don't fit. And I also picked up this one just here, which is a vest and a little sleep suit with little bears on it. It's just white, it has little bears on it, and there's a little vest that goes with it that also is white and has little bears on it, and I just thought that was really, really cute. And then I packed one more outfit. I also packed uh, this outfit here. I've also got a spare vest to go under the one that I showed you first. And I also got this one here, which is a little vest with stars on it, and then a little sleep suit with stars on it as well. Again, really plain, simple. I just bought three little outfits just because I don't know if he's going to be given anything in the hospital and also I don't know if he's going to have any accidents or anything like that so I just thought I'll be prepared and take three outfits and then we're sorted. I also packed away his sleep suit in case we need this because obviously it's we live in Sweden and it's quite cold at the moment. Um, I don't think he can wear this in his car seat uh, but I thought I'd pack it just in case you never know the car's going to break down or something on the way home or something like that um, so I thought I would pack something warm for him to wear just in case. So that was it for sort of clothing wise that I've packed for babies, not too much really there. So moving on to the back pocket and what I've packed in there. So this bag has three pockets that you can open and this one is basically really good because it's separate for your nappies and your baby wipes and that sort of thing. So in here I've packed some nappies, these are the size 1 nappies that you can get from Pampers um, and I packed 7 of those, I'm pretty sure the hospital provides nappies but I just thought I'd bring a few myself just in case. And then I also packed in here some wipes, these are the Pampers Aqua Pure ones and if you're interested in where I got them from, if you're in Sweden and stuff like that, then go and watch my Baby Essentials video that I filmed a few weeks ago because uh, all that information is on that video. And then also in this bag, it comes with an actual changing pad, which I haven't actually detached. Let's just pull that off. It comes with its own little changing thing as well, and that just came with the bag. So I've just left that in there. And that's pretty much it that I am taking for baby in the actual bag. Um, it's pretty full and I think that's going to be enough stuff. So let me know below if you think I should take anything else. Um, but also what I'm going to be taking is, I'm also going to be taking my nursing pillow with me because I just think it would be really, really helpful when I'm first trying to breastfeed and that sort of thing, just to make life easier whilst holding the baby so the baby has a bit of support and so that I have a bit of support as well. So this will be coming with us as well as part of the baby's stuff. So. That's it for baby for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. As I said before, let me know below if you think I've missed anything and yeah, what you sort of think I should be taking and do you think three outfits is enough? I think it should be enough, um, but do let me know what you think below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. See you later.